A Nintendo system without Smash is like a pizza without pineapple. Wait, no wait, that's awful. There's always an empty hole is what I'm trying to say. Smash is a key component of any Nintendo system, the celebration of culminating all its characters in a unique yet comfortable fighter that we've been engaged in since 1999. There's no question that Super Smash Bros for Switch is on the way, but until then, can Brawl Out, with its uncanny resemblance to Smash, hold you over? Brawl Out is a Smash clone in every respect. Up to four of you can battle it out in an arena where the objective is to knock each other off the stage. The more you hit your opponent, the higher their percentage meter goes up and the farther they'll fly when you hit them. Each character can perform different moves, but the inputs to execute them are the same across the board. So you have A being your standard melee attacks, and then B being your specials, and depending on the direction you're pushing when you hit them, you'll do a different move. Just like a certain other fighter. Brawl Out has a slightly different weight to it than any other Smash game, and something I'll describe as more in line with PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, though it does take cues from melee by having elements like wave dashing. With more than two players, you'll find yourself getting stuck in a barrage of standard attacks, and the only way to really get out is to wait for your rage meter to fill up. You see, every time a character gets hit, it fills up this meter underneath the character portrait. If you unleash it after it's halfway done, you'll lose all your momentum, which can save you from being stuck in a combo or flying out of the ring. But if you leave it until it's entirely full, you'll enter rage rage mode, where you have a much higher defense and offense for a few seconds. It's a really interesting mechanic that I think adds a lot of layers and tension to any battle, but whether it's enough to make Brawl Out feel unique, I don't think so, and I think the elements that incentivize this mechanic can feel a little cheap. It's never fun to be stuck in an array of attacks that you simply can't get out of. When playing in normal or hard and arcade mode, the difficulty only appears to be upped by throwing in more AI to gang up on you. It's very artificial and unenjoyable to be stuck in moments like this. Move sets and characters as a whole are a really mixed bag. Brawl Out has two guest indie characters, being the Drifter from Hyperlight Drifter and Juan from Guacamelee. These two are exceptionally well designed and their movesets naturally mirror their respective games. They're really fun to play as, and if you're fans of either games, I think you'll really like them here in Brawl Out. The problem with the rest of the roster is design-wise they come across as generic. Most of them are just different coloured animals and fighting gear, and the vast majority of them have moves directly pulled from Smash. Even the Drifter does. Let me show you what I mean. So I've been comparing Brawl Out to Smash a lot over the course of this review, and why should it matter if it copies it a lot if the game is still fun? Well, that's the thing. There is fun to be had with Brawl Out, but the moment Smash hits Switch, I don't think anyone's going to care about this game. It does a lot of what Smash does, but worse. It also doesn't really offer anything beyond the standard fights. It's designed only around the competitive side of Smash. There's no items, pretty much every stage is a Battlefield clone, and unless you want to play timed or stock, there's nothing else you can really do in Brawl Out. Even the online mode proved inconsistent with some matches being like this, and others being like this. Keep in mind, these matches were against the same person under the same conditions. Brawl Out is pretty impressive on Switch, running at 1080p at 60fps while docked, but we did encounter this frequent issue where the game would almost… lag. Like there's a network lag apart from this happens in single player. It would likely get patched, but it was a little baffling. I also encountered two crashes in my time with Brawl Out, which isn't exactly promising. Unlocking new stages and characters can also be cumbersome. You start off with 3 stages and 8 characters, with 11 and 18 being available once everything is unlocked. That's a pretty decent number, but unlocking is a slow process. New stages are unlocked by getting a certain character to a specific level, which involve me going through the single player tournament 3 times as these characters and then using them a decent amount online too. It takes a while. To get new characters you need to buy a pinata for 40 gems, which then randomly gives you one. Don't worry, no money's involved, but gems aren't exactly common to come across. Sometimes you'll get them as daily rewards, sometimes for levelling up your character, but it's all very random. I also find the balance to be very off. No matter how much I play as Sephira, the Drifter has a much more beneficial moveset that deals with range attacks, counter attacks, and his standard melee moves have an incredible range, and this gives him a serious advantage over the competition. Then there's Parco, who has a weirdly long range on his grab moves. He can also straight up carry players off the edge like Donkey Kong, and if you have a high percentage then say goodbye, you're pretty much dead. 
It's unbalanced to say the least. Some characters are so much better than others, some have unnatural advantages, and others just aren't fun to play as. At its best, Brawlout is something that may hold you over until Smash. The core principle is there, it just doesn't quite do it well enough, and once Smash hits, I don't think anyone's going to be too into this. Now I like to review games based on their own merits, but Brawlout doesn't make it easy. This is Smash without the cast and polish, and what remains is something pretty mediocre. I felt meh about Brawlout. There are merits to be enjoyed for sure, but my experience was far too inconsistent. Sometimes just being similar isn't good enough, and a Smash game without its soul loses half of what makes a franchise so good. And beyond that, Brawlout is just an average fighting game. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on indie games and other things gaming too.